What's the first song you remember hearing? The first song I remember hearing, as in like the first song I ever made. Mm-mm. What do you mean hearing? Like just hearing like a first song, hearing, like a song, like when as 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 far back as you can remember, the first m- experience you had with music where you recognized what music was. So for me, I was um, three, four, something like that. Okay. Then what song was it? Where were you at? What was you doing? Who was with you? Okay, I'm gonna just put it like this. You know that one song um, by Demi Lovato where she's like, "This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be." Is that know? Disney Shout? No, I said Disney that's Shout. That's Camp Rock. Dog, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Disney Shout. No, you gotta Beyonce, cut that. You gotta dog, cut that. Don't ever. I don't mean it like that. Kelly, Michelle, <laughs> Disney Channel. But, Yes, it's called This Is Me, I think, by Demi Lovato. Was it on one of them shows? Camp Rock. It's a Camp movie. Camp Rock. Oh, that was yeah. a Disney movie. Yeah, with the Jonas Brothers. Oh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't even watch that. Not, <laughs> not anything against Jonas Brothers, but I'm saying I'm in a different cohort of age right. than you. So, yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> but I was that already was like watching one of the, the wire. songs where I was like, I really want to, you know, record. I really want to make music. Like, But when I first seen that movie, I think I was like, about 13, 14. I had this song book and I was like, I had like 15 songs. I still remember a song I wrote in there till this day. Wait, so the first time you remember the first was 13? Yes. No, let's go further back. I'm talking about when you five years old. Five years old? Yes, Soja. No, we're taking it back. That's what I the know pink... any songs. That's yes, like... you do. You heard something. Okay, you felt let me stuff let around me you. What would your mom be listening to when she's dropping you off to school? Or your dad or whoever, your auntie. Five I, years I, I don't old. know. What, when you were, when you were, when you were having experiences with your family, what were they playing around you? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now I see. Okay. Brandy. You know who that is? Yes. Okay. This girl just asked me if I know who Brandy <laughs> is. <laughs> okay. Tori Kelly. Yeah. And. Tori Kelly's interesting. Okay. Yeah. I like her. And <sighs> there's somebody else I listen to right now that they be playing. I sure. No. Chris Brown. Okay. Yeah. Brandy and Chris Brown sounds like a good starter pack for your ears. Yeah. Okay. All right. We can do that. See? You did okay. it. <laughs> there we go. All right. So those are like some of the first artists or first songs you remember hearing. Was it which Chris Brown? The first album, Chris Brown? Chris Brown, Chris Brown? Chris Brown, the one that's like... Um, Say Goodbye. Deuces, you know that Oh, song? Deuces. Damn. Have you ever heard his first album? No. What's his first album? No, Jared, His no. first album's name is called Chris Brown. Really? Self-titled album, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, his introduction to the world. I've never heard of that. I've never seen it, never listened. <sighs> My heart is slowly breaking. <laughs> I'm breaking? looking at the audience and I'm like, I low-key might. <laughs> I low-key might. Chris Brown, Chris Brown is like the album where Run It's on it, Say Goodbye is on it, Yo is on it, Yo. Oh, I know those songs. There we go. But I think I only heard them on the radio. Oh, you got to run. So All yeah. right. We can go to my house later. We're, I'm going to play the Chris Brown, Chris Brown. <laughs> okay. All right. As we indulge in herbal essences. Anyways. um, God damn, that threw me off. Okay. So Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Brandy. And now we are... What or what are you listening to around your parents or your family? What's your mom playing? What's your dad playing? Well, my mom lis- listens to LMA okay. right now. And right. she really likes it's Jamaican music. Uh, it's Caribbean some music? Artist. Yeah, oh. it's some artist that she'd be listening to, though. I don't even know, like, how it goes. The okay. song, our name. But I just remember yeah. how it sounded when you were around. Yeah. Got you. And she listens to... Do you know Eric, Eric Bellinger? Yeah. Yeah, she listens to him too. Gotcha. He's amazing. He's amazing, by the way. I think he's also a songwriter too. Yeah. Well, that's really what he is. Yeah. Well, whatever. We're all <laughs> musicians out here. Um, all right, Soja. So I'm gonna talk you through a little scene. Let's okay. get into the mode. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna take it back to baby Soja Brat back in the day. When did you move from North Carolina? Um I moved from North Carolina, my Freshman year of high school. Okay, so you was there for a minute, minute. Yeah. Okay, all right. And it was country out there, right? Yeah, but the part I was in was kind of ghetto. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's still the country. Yeah, it was. The country ghetto is a lot of different. People don't know that. Well, yeah. they do. But like, up here the ghetto different than... Than the country ghetto. Yeah, yeah. it's like slow. And yeah. Nobody got 
down there. Like, not at all. Ain't even nothing Piggly to do out wiggly there. out there. <laughs> Piggly wiggly. Yeah. Yep. Big lots. <laughs> with all that. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, all right. So, Joe, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We're playing outside. Okay. We're playing outside in the okay. neighborhood with the little bat. Little kids around. Because you're a bat. Little kid, too. I know you was bad. Your name is Soldier Brat. All right. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, put your palms up. Turn your palms oh, okay. up. Okay. Okay. Up. And set them on your knees like that. Oh, oh, there okay. we go. I'm like, now relax <laughs> and melt into the sea. Okay. All right. So, Mama said, "Go ahead, go outside. You're getting on my nerves. I'm trying to smoke. So we go outside. And we're, <laughs> I'm silly. We go outside and we're playing with the kids. You got your bike. You may got the chalk out. Y'all may got the water hose because y'all really bad kids like that. Um, and it's somebody that has a porch that's watching y'all. Somebody, an old head in the neighborhood. You know how I be watching y'all. What is that old head playing off the radio in his porch, on his or her porch? They're playing 50 Cent. You remember? Is that a memory that you actually remember? <laughs> no, I just made that up. Damn. See, that scene wasn't that good. See, I got to get better at talking you through these. It got to be something that actually happened. No, it's just I'm trying to what I'm trying to do with that is like take you to a place where you're like, hmm, OK, soldier boy, crank that booty meat. OK, well, let me no, try not again. crank that, that booty, booty meat. meat. God no. damn it. I've been everything <laughs> up. I said Disney child, crank that booty meat could be pretty fire. Though. <laughs> Shout out to soldier boy. I would take I would take you in the pink room before I would take 250 in food stamps. OK. Like I said, anyways, um, it's okay. Well, I'll try again for the okay, next Okay, yeah, scene. let's try again. No, no, for the next scene. Oh, next scene. Yeah, yeah okay. let's go to square one. Let's get down to where you started and how you started and why you started. Okay. So you kind of started talking about it when you were mentioning the Camp Rock song with yeah. Demi Lovato. And you said that song or hearing that song made you want to start recording and kind of introduce you to like your sound, right? Yeah. All right. Tell me the story from like when you first heard their song all the way to your first equipment, your first whatever however you decided to start recording yourself okay well <clears throat> when i first at first i didn't have a studio or anything my auntie she knew someone which my uncle jasper he's a producer he has studio in his basement and i was like 16 and i was like just singing make i was making r&b and so he was, she was like, I want to, I want to get you in the studio and do a song. And so I was in there with um, my God brother, Zay, that's his name. Mm -hmm. And we were, we made a song, R&B song. And then, yeah, ever since that, I don't think I, I think I was really playing around mm -hmm. because I was like 16. So I, I don't think I recorded until like start being serious about music till like literally two years ago. Okay, but you had you started, yeah. but I was in the studio, but I wasn't dropping the music I was making. Oh, so you started dropping two years ago, but you was playing around with your sound. You were hearing yourself yeah. on the mic. You were learning your tunes. But I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. So, the reason I wanted to start rapping is because I was okay. So I I already know Sofago was popping. Mm -hmm. So I was I had him in my playlist and SoundCloud, and I was listening to music. And then Duop came, Duop Kane came on, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, this is fire!" And then Autumn, you know, all those people started playing. I was washing dishes, and I was like, "Hmm, I wonder if I could like, I want to try to rap. Like, maybe I can make some music like that." So then, cause when I posted on TikTok my R and B song, it wasn't getting no traction. Uh, so I was like, mm. "So we started talking." To <laughs> right. That's when everybody like, was like, "Who is this girl?" Right. So I was like, "Okay." I'm going to just do some rap. So then that's when I made Hey on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, I started getting some followers. And then I was like, I'm going to keep going with this. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's just how it started. Got you. So really, it was kind of like in your around your family enough to where they realized they're like, let's get this girl in the studio. Yeah, because yeah. my family, like they're all involved around music. Like my grandpa, he was in uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Really? Who's your grandpa? Um... His name is Solomon Burke. He's he what does passed that sound away. so familiar? <laughs> and then he's he's met like Michael Jackson and I'm all the people. <laughs> Solomon Burke. And okay, then, and then your mommy. And then that's my great grandpa. Okay. My grandpa now has done stuff for what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? 
Wait, Ooh, somebody what, else what is, is related called? to Solomon Burke. The, what did my grandpa say on the phone? Motown. Motown, yeah, he does Motown. Okay. he's He, like, created the whole thing. Wait, hold on. His name is William Mickey Stevenson. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's dope. So you music has been in your, your yeah. life. Yeah, and my grandma's done shows and plays and... Oh, so the theater. Yeah. 